Hi there, I'm Fotaku. I'm Olaulio Magana. And we're here for all things film. We and need something else for that. Alright, so with what happened recently with going to watch uh, The Mummy, um, it was disappointing, but we get what Universal's trying to do. They're doing the dark universe, which got us thinking with Marvel and their universe of movies, different movies tied in together. DC has their own theme. Comic book movies tied in together. It's kind of a new theme. So the studios like Universal's in the uh, dark universe are like, what other universes could movie studios do? Since it seems to be a lot of money and movies that are tied in to each other in as, as a universe type thing. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing if you have fun with it in the right way but right now it's it's you're missing the point of what it is it's not just about and seriously just how it goes out marvel don't lose that edge dc you did good with wonder woman let's let's continue with that in universal you're getting in there with the horror movie things and you're doing something that we wish they would have done back in the 2000s because frey versus jason you know what its budget was better than all the previous horror movies that they were ever a part of even if its quality was still kind of meh but it is cool that you do have fun with that segment but here it's continuity well this is a, the, the the reason that the marvel movies are successful at the universe and dc tries to be uh because their universes are already established years they're not forcing a brand new universe like uh, universal studios doing with the monsters they never had them before in the past they had a crossover movies like you know the wolfman versus the mummy they try to do it you know uh, they, a few times just versus movies just to a quick little buck, but there's no established uh, connection between them. So that what makes it tough. Uh, the horror movies on Freddy vs. Jason, which is like a dream match, right? They kind of did that with um, a, a version of Universal uh, movies, follow me with it, with the Expendables, all these action movie stars mm -hmm. in the same movie. Maybe not the characters, but they put were in the same movie and you kind of knew all those rambles as a um, Terminator or whatever. Well, that kind of was successful for a bit. And I've seen people talk about, oh, they should do an Expendables kind of version, but with the horror movie monsters, you know, uh, Freddy J, uh, Chucky, and all these guys. Which they did have their chance with the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I mean, there you had the Hunter, you had Jekyll and Hyde, you had a vampire, an immortal, invisible man. Technically, the premise was good. The only problem, though, is, well, Sean Connery obviously tried to meddle in with that so much. He wanted to be the one who was making the big bucks off of the movie. And that's the part that sucks. So, with how you have these characters that already exist, like vampires, werewolves, Frankenstein, they've all been done and redone to mixed results before, but the potential is that, you know what, sometimes if you gather the right kind of hype and put them together, I think that will get people more excited, which I find funny because when the subtlety went out the window with the mummy reveal, I had no clue that they wanted to do a dark universe at first. And then now that that's there, I figure, you know what, if you were gonna be throwing out Easter eggs like that, here's what probably would've made the movie better cut down on your exposition. You, we already have enough of what's going down with each character, so you know what parts actually are cool. When you just have monsters fighting each other like it's a dream match, you know what? That's pretty cool. And But there's the issue with the, the whole monster movie, that universe. A lot of these characters, or the monsters in the 50 movies, they're the stars, but they didn't really talk much or have a lot of personality. Now they're trying to throw in stars, like there's the mummy, but really it's a Tom Cruise movie. Mm -hmm. They're bringing the creature from the Black Lagoon, but it's really a, um, what's her name? It's gonna be a Scarlett Johansson movie. Scarlett Johansson movie, movie really. So it's sort of like these monsters are like in the background, right? It's really, it's not their movie, it's just the stars, like they're adjacent. It's monster movie adjacent, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's other universes they could try to do, um, maybe the same studios. Um, they don't have to like legal issues, not Sony and Marvel have issues because they share different licenses. They got to work out deals. Yeah. Um, somebody was saying uh, they should do uh, Fast and the Furious and Transformers, which eventually, if they're going to run out of ideas, they're going to do that one day for like, the, like, you know what, let's screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But then guess what? They're going to be sequels, Transformers, the Fast and the Transformers. I don't know. What Hashtag. 
dumb fun sequels. <laughs> yeah, I I would want to see that the whole. I, eventually, it'd be like Vin Diesel and his Transformer robot, and you know CGI whatever actor died from the movie that this time, and they're like, let's do it, and there's gonna be the foot race with the Transformers. It's like they're actually racing as uh, Transformers in a foot race, like around the block and drinking giant tubs of gasoline or whatever they drink because they're thirsty and they're racing. But even so, then that's where we hit the limit of what would probably be a dumb fun crossover at that point. So. There is potential there. If Universal understands that it has rights to all of these classic monsters in the way that it doesn't have to deal with studio interference between different movie companies trying to compete, like Marvel has to do with gathering its rights back, and obviously DC is barely just catching up, or rather Warner Brothers is barely catching up with DC and trying to find that flow to them. Because here's the thing, it's trying to imitate something that took years to put out there. It started in 2006 when Marvel wanted to have this whole built-up continuity thing together. And heck, even before then, let's look at a different continuity series that did really well. And that's just the Harry Potter films. No, that's not something where you try to make an expanded universe, but realize it took years and dedication to try and get all of those actors together to have something that would be that consistent and amazing. And right now, it just sucks if we see a movie like The Mummy where it's trying to attempt this and in its execution, it does it so poorly. It's like to the point where it kind of seems like, you know what, you could have just thrown Ben Frazier at me and then just maybe made some nods to probably the classic movies and then we probably would have had good garnered hype. But even so, hype will only get us so far as much as we also want to just have a lot of ridiculous fun. Uh, I think comic books are like the easiest place to mine for universes. Uh, they've they've done you know the not Marvel not DC they've done the one shot of movies you know V for Vendetta um, and since it is a comic book they they tried you know but they never you know this is not big enough to do other like uh, tie-ins. Um, Image Comics, you guys remember Image Comics from back, you know, when I was younger, that was the thing. They had some different heroes and stuff. I don't see any movies from them, or that maybe Spawn and redoing it, but... Well, granted, their scenario has changed a lot from the 90s. I mean, 90s-wise, they tried to actually bank on the fact that there were two things. If you bought comics from way back in the day because they were disposable as hell, and you managed to sell one in good condition, you were going to make a lot of money. And the second thing was, at this point, comic book readers were becoming adults and they were enjoying new content that they could absorb and that's why things like The Killing Joke, Dark Knight Returns, and Watchmen were so popular. So during the 90s, Image wanted to capitalize on both making money off of specially printed type of uh, comics to be made at that particular era and at the same time tried to bank a lot on the aesthetic of what was really edgy at the time and it blew up in their face so even though image doesn't necessarily have that spotlight where they had with their superhero movies image has been actually been doing better comic book wise right now than both marvel and dc let me stress out way better than marvel get your stuff together but image seriously has been pumping out great i comics. didn't know they're still around <laughs> Uh, another thing, I, well, going back to the universe thing. So yeah, now it's like in your face, you know, Thor movie, Iron Man movie, then Titan, the team up. But I was thinking, directors kind of do that. Let's say like um, Quentin Tarantino will do a movie, and people will be like, oh, that character is part of this. The like, little Easter eggs that tie into other movies. In Night Shyamalan did that with the split. I guess the big reveal at the end, spoiler, was that it's tied into the movie um, Unbreakable, right? tied in somehow they're gonna make a sequel so he made his own universe out of it but real subtle opposed to the big uh superhero way of you know marketing making money all tied in together which is kind of like a new thing i i i think that's the first one universal monsters that somebody else is doing their own property they don't we don't want to buy a property a universe that already exists they want to make their own universe with their own property so uh right now i i can't uh, what was a uh what are some properties that you think they could uh, use as tie them and actually be, make money off it, not like a Alien versus Predator that would just like didn't go nowhere with that. Well, it had potential, but even with Alien versus Predator, I don't think that one was supposed to expand because, granted, there was a lot of hype that existed before that movie even came out, even though Requiem is complete and other garbage. But 
Yeah, no, share with us about what you would enjoy. Hell, I'm a personal fanboy and thinking that everything they're doing with live action Disney movies at this point, if we can get like a Disney expanded universe series, that would be cool. It, of course, then again, we already have the video games, which are Kingdom Hearts and unless Square wants to also join in on that, because Square, that would be cool. You can lend your CGI talents, but you know, yeah, no, here, talk so, to us. Yeah. You know. What are some movies what, what, what's the potential shared universes you think Hollywood could do? Mm -hmm. That would be from the heart. That would be awesome. Because stop trying to just bank on what we want, man. Yeah, what we want. <laughs> make money off stuff we don't want. If that makes sense, yes. Just, yeah. I, don't, I don't, we don't know. You tell us what we want, Hollywood. <laughs> and make us pay for it. Just make it good, please. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And be sure to follow Wasness videos. So, have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time.